in this video lecture i will discuss congenital adrenal hyperplasia which is a relative short but complex topic with some tricks and great mnemonics so let's start as name indicate congenital it is present since birth adrenal is for our two nice sweet glands sitting on the top of our two kidneys and hyperplasia is for enlargement so congenital adrenal hyperplasia present with enlargement of adrenal gland and excess of sex or steroid hormones whenever we talked about congenital adrenal hyperplasia a complex basary chart comes into our mind that is steps in the synthesis of adrenal hormones and involved enzymes congratulations guys we don't need to learn this chart because it is not tested in our university exams or in board exam the congenital adrenal hyperplasia present with a deficiency of following enzyme 21 hydroxylase deficiency 17 hydroxylase deficiency and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency The mnemonic for congenital adrenal hyperplasia is MS. M is for mineralocorticoid and S is for sex hormones. In congenital adrenal hyperplasia, there is 21 hydroxylase deficiency, 17 hydroxylase deficiency, and 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency. The first digit represents mineralocorticoid, while the second digit represents sex hormones. Turns all ones into upward arrows and turns all non ones digits into downward arrows. And 21, 2 is non-1, so it's downward arrow, and 1 is upward arrow. So in 21 hydroxylase deficiency, mineralocorticoid that is aldosterone will decrease, which in turn causes sodium to be decreased, increase in potassium, and causes hypotension. Sex hormones will be increased, which leads to virilization. In 17 hydroxylase deficiency, 1 is for upward arrow, and 7 is for downward arrows. So mineralocorticoid that is aldosterone will increase, which causes sodium to increase, potassium to decrease, leads to hypertension, while sex hormone will be decreased. In 11 beta hydroxylase deficiency, the mineralocorticoid 11 deoxycorticosterone will increase, while other mineralocorticoid that is aldosterone will decrease, which leads to hypertension and sex hormone is increased leads to virilizations.